Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we are going to be taking a detailed look at the Marvel Star Lord's helmet here from Lego, set number 76251, and this set has 602 pieces. I hope you guys like Marvel as much as I do, and specifically Guardians of the Galaxy. As you can see, I am Groot. Guardians of the Galaxy is one of my favorite movies of all time, and we are going to be taking a look at the Lego Star Lords helmet. Before we get into the video, if you could hit that like button, it would be a great help for the channel, and make sure you're subscribed for all of our future videos that we have coming in the future. So without further ado, let's get into the build. Hope you guys enjoyed that time lapse. This was a pretty fairly straightforward build. It was kind of fun. There were some good parts, some bad parts. We're going to take a detailed look at some of the really cool things here, as well as some of the things that I thought they could have done better on. And we're going to take a look at some of that here. In general, I think this is a really 
cool build, especially currently when it's on sale. It keeps going on sale all the time. Um, this has been out for a while now, obviously, but um, it's still a great set to pick up, especially for Marvel fans and specifically Guardians of the Galaxy fans like myself. Starting with some of the good things. So one of my favorite things with this whole set was that everything was print. There was no stickers whatsoever. The eyes, the like front mask covering, obviously, as well as the um, plate down at the bottom were all print. I think there's only those three pieces in this set. There's not a ton of sticker or print detail, but I think that the Lego itself does a pretty good job of showing the detail of the helmet. I really like the use of the gold on the front. Um, the way that it was layered pretty well, it all looks like it fits in place. It looks like it's meant to be there and then the contrast with the gray and then some of the like dark, like shiny gray really helps with the contrast and the detail. In the back, we have a little bit of brown as well as gray, just to show that the helmet is not completely 100% gray. There is some other color to it as well. I really liked some of the greebling that's on the side to basically show that the like respirator part of it um, uses the like telephone style piece, as well as the um, like front mask circular pieces. They use those tall like uh, they're like two by four by six rounded plates, I think. Um, and then there's the these little like minifigure style holder pieces that are in the front of the mask that add just a little bit of extra detail. So that was pretty cool. I really liked the print on the eye pieces. I know we talked about not having stickers, but the eyes themselves are actually a pretty cool like hexagonal print with the different color red to highlight the shading of the helmet there. I just think this overall looks exactly like you would see a Star-Lord helmet. I think that's one of my biggest dislikes with this set is that it's not actually Star-Lord. It's specifically Star-Lord's helmet. And I think it would be so much cooler. Like there's some sets out there or some mocks of the finished Star-Lord with his hair and stuff. And I think eventually we might try to do that. But I alluded to it earlier in the video. This thing is essentially a pencil holder. The entire top section is completely open. And I think that's what's a little off-putting about this. It looks so cool. And this is a very detailed set. It just seems a little bit incomplete with not having the hair and like, it's not just Star-Lord, it's Star-Lord's helmet specifically, indicating that they purposefully left out some of um, the character. One of the other issues I have is that there's some exposed studs on the sides and back, and typically that's fine, but when they go through such great detail to make sure everything's like smooth and use all these rounded pieces, it would be kind of nice to have some like smooth edges across the entire thing. It's a small little detail, but I think it could have been done a little bit better. And then I guess lastly, it does seem a little bland. Like I understand that's part of Star-Lord's character. And maybe this goes into like him not having the hair. It is a lot of repetitive um, black and gray, right? So like the base itself is completely black with the inner parts being black. But then when you get to the outsides, most of it's either this gray color or this light tannish brown beige. Like I said, the actual pieces do a pretty good job of giving that detail and the corners and the bends and the rounds and all that type of jazz. And it's really cool. I just, it, it misses a little bit for me on that sen sense, but overall, like I don't want to knock this at all. Um, especially when there's different mocks out there. And for the price point, like I said earlier, this set is continuously on sale. Every couple of months, there's always some like 20% off. And I think this is a great set to pick up on sale. I don't necessarily think I would advocate paying full price for it, but I do enjoy it. It's one of my favorite characters. I think Marvel is never a miss. Like if you're looking to pick this up to give to someone, or honestly, if you want to build it and then sell it in the future, like this set will hold value. Like Marvel is pretty good about that. So that's pretty cool. The build was pretty good. Honestly, it had a little bit of repetitive colors and stuff, but like I said, I think the designers for this set did a really good job, especially because it's right in line with the rest of the helmets. It looks to scale, it looks good. There's great part usage all over the place. My biggest dislike, like I said, is that it doesn't have the whole head. It's just the helmet itself. In total, I think I would give this a probably seven and a half, maybe an eight. Like maybe that blows away some of your expectations of how bad I've been kind of talking about this, but it really is cool. Like I think the details alone are pretty solid. 
um, especially like this side corner piece the like greebling that comes around with the minifigure stands and the, like I know it's not a lightsaber hilt but it kind of looks like one um, with this two by two round it all looks really cool I think it's going to go great on my shelf so I'm not going to complain it's going to fit right in I think that pretty much sums up most of my thoughts I wanted to keep this short and brief and give you guys a video here mostly with the time lapse I know you guys have been enjoying the time lapses lately so if you like this video please make sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. If you enjoyed this, please let me know in the comments down below, and we'd like to hear what else you guys would like to see. We're uh, looking to make some more videos in the future. With that, thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.